Looks good. 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 Alright, so day one at Micro Center, we got the motherboard for our build. Uh, it's a gigabyte board. And we also got uh, the Intel Core i7-6700K, which you can see right there in the back. So this is uh, day one of shopping and uh, more to come. Alright, uh, we're going to Micro Center. Today is the uh, 27th of January. Going day two right now. We're going to go get a few parts, uh, the remaining parts, and then tomorrow we're going to put together the system. Okay guys, so we finalized with all the parts, we got graphics card, we got the Hue Plus, LEDs in the computer, really cool, we got screws for the motherboard, our hard drive, our power supply, RAM, SD card adapter, Bluetooth adapter, and Wi-Fi adapter. So guys, we are all set and we're going to check out now. Okay guys, we're back from Micro Center and we've got all the parts, including the case that was shipped to my house. So now we have all the parts, we're going to go in depth on all of them. So for the processor, we chose the uh, Intel i7-6700K, which has a stock speed of 4.0 gigahertz and has four cores and that will be mainly used for video editing. Next for our motherboard, we chose a Gigabyte Z170 HD3 board that had all the right features that we wanted. For the graphics card, we chose the uh, Gigabyte GeForce GTX 950 that will also help video rendering and video editing. For the power supply, we chose the Corsair 650X modular power supply to power all the components for this build. For the RAM, we chose 16 gigabytes of Kingston's Hyper Fury X RAM clocked at 2400 MHz. Our hard drive we chose for the build is the Seagate Barracuda 2TB version to hold all the files stored on the hack. We also wanted to add some appeal to the case and the whole Hackintosh, so we added a lighting solution from NZXT to make it look appealing. Lastly, for our case, we chose the NZXT Phantom 240 ATX case that'll be big enough to hold everything we need for the Hackintosh. So uh, this weekend, we've dedicated to the personal project. Day one is done. We got all the parts. You saw what we have in the video, and tomorrow is the build day. So stay tuned. Yep, stay tuned. Okay guys, so we're back with day two, and today is the build day, and we're about to get started, so enjoy. Okay, so now we're gonna install the processor into the motherboard. So uh, we're gonna take the latch off of the socket here, and then we are going to grab the processor right here. processor is now installed into the motherboard. Okay, so for the RAM, we're gonna have the dual slot. We have the uh, 16 gigs of the Hyper Fury uh, Kingston RAM. So you wanna make sure that the notch lines up and then you're gonna push down until you hear a click. Nice. So I'm going this way. Yep. I'm making sure these are in like the grooves right here. Yep. And I just push in. Yep. Nice. Now the RAM is installed, all right. Okay guys, so we got everything plugged in now. And are we ready, Keith? We are ready. Moment of truth here. Flip the switch. Check the switch here. Now the big test, we need to spark, and, and if we do it right, the light should light up, the CPU fan should start spinning, and the power supply fan should start spinning. So here we go. Power supply fan is spinning, CPU fan is spinning, and we have LED power. So we have done everything right so far, and here's to the rest of the build. All right, so now we have the power supply installed, all the screws are in, and now we're gonna install the hard drive into a drive cam. All right, we're gonna put in the graphics card here. Gonna go back a little bit here. Cringy, but I think it's in there. Now we are all good.
Okay guys, so we uh, finished the build process for the computer. Everything works and it looks pretty sweet right now. Um, you like the way it turned out, Will? It's great. It's awesome. Now we just got to install OS X, which is Mac's operating system. So wish us luck. So as you can see, we have successfully installed OSX onto the Hackintosh, fully functioning, it's a great computer, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video.